Yeah! Hola gang and welcome again to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, I'm your old nerd of the day. And I try things so you don't have to. It is the first day of spring. I am so freaking excited. It's beautiful outside. Today I am over at KFC to try their chicken pot pies. You know, if you know me, you know how much I love chicken pot pies. And I've tried them all. I've tried Swanson's, I've tried Banquet's, I've tried Stouffer's, and I've tried Marie Callender's. Marie Callender's is my favorite. They make the most flavorful chicken pot pie I've had out of all of them. I thought Stouffer's would be pretty good. I was pretty disappointed in that one. But I've heard a lot of good things about KFC's chicken pot pies, so I figure, okay, I'm gonna go over here and try this. These are fairly spendy, so I'm gonna see. It, it, it's not gonna be price-wise. It's definitely gonna be flavor-wise and quality-wise. Is it worth that price? Let us go to the clipboard of fluff. It says about the KFC chicken pot pies, these are tender bites of the world's best chicken. So it's, it's KFC chicken, which is pretty good stuff. Diced potatoes, peas and carrots, covered in a savory sauce and baked in a flaky golden crust. Now that's a lot of fluff. Made to sound really good. I'll be using my handy dandy little steering wheel desk here and that'll allow me to keep things sturdy. Went through the drive through there is the bag. They gave me a good supply of napkins. Luckily, they gave me a spork. And there is the box it comes in. It says, Colonel Sanders Signature Recipe Pot Pie. Warm yourself from the inside. Kentucky Fried Chicken and the Colonel right on the front there. Now, I get pot pies every single week from the store. I, I get them in the multi-pack because I eat them so much. I eat, like, an easy two a week, easy two a week, either breakfast, well, not usually breakfast, but lunch or dinner. I could eat them for breakfast. I could swing that. All right, let's open this up. Holy moly gargonzoli. Ooh, ooh, that is hot, 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 hot. There is the pot pie. That is a crazy looking, a crazy size pot pie. I don't know if that's a pounder or a little bit under. It's hard to tell because of the crust. The crust is just all over. It's just madness. Taking the spork out, getting ready to dig into this thing. Let's poke, poke in and get it in there and mix it all up and take a look. I'm not used to seeing it as not as liquidy, um, but the, the sauce, the gravy is very, very thick. I'm trying to get everything on here for you. Here's a good look. You see the carrots, you see the peas, you see the chicken down there, all gooped up in that gravy. All right, let's give it a shot. Give it another shot. There's another look for you. I want to get a bunch of that crust. Okay, the crust is nice and flaky. I really like how that's done. The chicken in there is, um, with the gravy and the carrots and the peas, it's, it's pretty indiscernible as specifically KFC chicken, but the chicken is nice. The vegetables inside are, are a little too soggy for me, not um, a, a solid enough texture, but I'm sure that's really hard when you're cooking all that goop inside the pot pie. It, I don't know how much control you would have over something like that, but I know I've had better textured veggies. As you know, I eat by texture. Definitely not as goopy as all the other pot pies I've ever had. It's more of a thick gravy than kind of a, a thinner gravy. I think I prefer the gravy texture a little bit in the middle of both, you know, just kind of a nice gravy, but not so thick that it's kind of like heavy. The potatoes are kind of like the, the carrots and the peas. They're kind of a mushy type of texture. I suppose if I didn't eat by texture, it'd be a little bit more feasible for me. I wouldn't be so critical. And the size is huge. You could easily make this your lunch or your dinner alone and be just fine with it. Probably be way overfilled. I've got a small stomach 
but I think this would be enough for anybody. The damage on the KFC pot pie by itself is $4.69. Now, that's to me a little bit spendy considering what I'm used to spending. Um, but you can get it in their box items, whatever their big box is, I think it's called, with a medium drink, I think it is, and a cookie for $5 even. So $4.69 by itself or $5 with the addition of a medium drink and a cookie. That, that's a no-brainer. On the Nerdometer, I would give the KFC Chicken Pot Pie... I think I would give this a middle of the road, I like it. Bordering on a low, I like it. It's good. It's not as seasoned as I am used to. If you have little packets of salt and pepper, I would recommend that you use that in this. Season it up more. I think the gravy is a little bit too thick. It's got a good amount of potatoes, good amount of chicken, a fair amount of vegetables. So with how thick the sauce is and the crust, it leaves me feeling full but bloated almost, heavy. Whereas with Marie Callender or any other one I've had, they just leave me feeling full. And the price is pretty high even for something that big. I can usually get a Marie Callender Pounder, which this borders on, for, I, I think I've spent the most, uh, two and a half dollars. Now, I know I'm going to get some hate from people who absolutely are pot pie, KFC pot pie fanatics, but I'm trying to be fair and, and critical in the best way. So, hate away hate away. Would I recommend it? Um, I would recommend that you go out and try it because I really do want to hear what everybody has to say, especially those who have never tried it before. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. There you go, gang. Another review in the bag. Thanks so much for joining me. Remember, I put out videos every Sunday and every Wednesday with live chats every Monday, most of the time at 5 p.m. Pacific. So, Join me over there. I'm also on Twitch TV, twitch.tv forward slash old nerd reviews, where I live stream and catch me on my social networks Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, old nerd reviews all around. And you can become a part of the old nerd crony community. You guys have a freaking awesome day, and I'll talk to you again. Bye now.